Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I am going to be making this, I'm calling it the Ultimate Valentine's Card Volume 2. So I think maybe two or three years ago I done an Ultimate Valentine's Card and basically it just had a lot of different parts to it. It had bits that you kind of pulled out, it had little pockets in it, lots of parts to it so that's why I called it that. And then during the Facebook Live when I made this one, that's what I thought whilst I was doing the live, this ended up evolving and having lots of bits added to it, so that's where I've come up with the name. So basically it's a six by six card with a belly band, so I'll just pop this one off, and then I've got this nice paper on the front with some lip stamps there, and then you open it up and you have this here. Now this is a smaller version of the squash card that I made about two, three years ago, and again I'll link that one up here because it's a really nice card. And there are similar of these cards around, but they're all this way. And during the live, we thought it looked much better. Well, it looked nice. It looks, but it looks great either way. But we just really liked it this way. And then under here, you have this other pop-up piece, and it says "and kisses." So it's hugs and kisses, and then there's more kisses all down there. But you could put a little love note in there. Of course, it doesn't have to be Valentine's. You don't have to have this as a heart. And we also said it would work really well for maybe any poker fans or card fans playing cards because this could be the diamond. These are the hearts. So if you've done black and white. And also we thought it was good for any Alice in Wonderland themed as well because this is like the Queen of Hearts. So there's lots of scope to change this if you wanted to. Really easy to do, so let me show you how. So different things I've used here. This is an old Crafty impression stamp set and I used the And Kisses just there. Then for the lips, this is my Let's Hear It For The Girls and this is the Makeup A5 stamp set. And then this one I thought was you wouldn't be able to get hold of but apparently it is still available and I used the little envelope there which is really cute and it's here you can see them I've cut them all out and then I've got this heart here I'll give you the measurements roughly but I'm actually going to be using that as a template so first of all you want a piece of 12 by 6 cardstock and along the 12 inch side you're going to score at 6 or if you've got any 6 by 6 card blanks they tend to come in just slightly under they're more like 5 and 7 eighths of an inch squared so you'd be able to make that from a piece of A4 cardstock so I'm now just going to burnish that score line and that's everything we need there. Then you'll want this piece which is for the pop-up. So this is six by six. Let's go a bit straighter there, there we go. And along one side you want to score at three. Then rotate and score at three again. And then pop it on the diagonal. And I'm going to use my six inch marker so I'm just going to put my stylus in the track. You may put little markers on your scoreboard, I know lots of people do. I don't on mine because I use these to photograph step by step instructions for when I do my commission work so I have to keep mine nice and clean. But I'm just popping my stylus in the track, keep it in there, then lie this down so it's the points at that six inch marker and then I can just check that the bottom here lines up and then I can just score right the way through the middle there so what you will now have is, there we go, you can see, so you've got, you will have two opposite squares with a score line going through them and then the other two squares will have nothing. Okay, fold and burnish all of the score lines, so do the squares first and then with these ones here, so you've just scored everything as a mountain fold, but these ones you want to score or just to kind of push them into a valley fold. So if you just pop it on its side, you can go in there. Make sure you get a nice point. I mean, I'm going to be cutting into this, so you're not going to see the point on it, but a lot of people, you know, you may keep this in because you can. It looks really nice as it is. Like I said, if you check out that squash one, if you want to make bigger ones, that's a really nice one. And these are great in mini albums. You can kind of pull big pages out. They look fantastic. So that's everything done there. So we can get rid of the scoreboard. Okay, so in the card here you can see that I've shaped these corner ones here. Now to do that I've just got this heart which is a die and I just sat it in the square and it happened to be the perfect size. However, if you don't, what I would recommend you do is cut a square that is three by three, fold it in half on the diagonal, so imagine that's you know this little square here you've got, fold it in half on the diagonal and just with a pencil draw a heart, half of a heart. So you just you know draw that half there just around this side cut it out and then when you open it up you'll have a heart shaped stencil and then you can lay that as if this was the paper over the top and all I'm going to do is draw around the top bit here so that it joins up here you don't want to cut the whole 
piece like you, you know I'm just you can see here when I'm starting to trace and it's literally the perfect size heart this is a dove an old no do craft sorry so can you see now and that's all I'm going to cut out and it will give me that heart shape there we go you can see it a bit better so again I mean if you're really confident you could just go straight in and just you know draw a heart shape like so but I'm not that good freehand I do need something to draw around size of this one if you want something similar it's uh, it's just over but well, it's just over three a smidge over three and that size there is two and a half I mean it's a hard one to measure really it's, it's about three by three all in because it fits within that square and then with my scissors I start on one of the sides here and I'm just going to remove the pencil mark but you can always rub anything out that you may have missed and just make sure that you get that I'm just going to go around different parts because it's a bit easier for me to get a nice finish and when you get to there with this bit when you cut it remove the score line until you just get a nice smooth join there okay Okay, so now that's all ready and you can see when it folds it will close up into that diamond shape. So now I'm going to go back to the main card and I'm going to stick all my mats and layers down. So I've got quite a few here. I've got three, you actually want four because depending on whether you're going to write your message in here, you may want to write it on the back. So if you do want to write something on the back then I'd do four of these sizes. But I've got four in this holographic cardstock and this is five and three quarters squared. And then I have, again, you're, I would say four if you want to write on the back, but one of these would be white. These are five and a half squared. You can see they're all going to go over the top there with a nice border. And again, like so. So depending on what orientation you want your card, these hearts are in all directions, so it really doesn't matter. But obviously if you want the card to open this way, then make sure if it's a directional paper that you have it facing the right way. But apart from the love on the front, the ones inside I can stick however I want. So I'm gonna get all these stuck down. With this one, I'm just gonna use my glue and stick it on there. And then I've already put double-sided tape on the back of these, so it sticks nicely onto the mirrored card. Okay, so that's everything now stuck down. So I've already prepared the little kind of mini cards that go inside. Now it's up to you if you want the pop-up piece to go inside, and I've got that here. But if you want these ones, then you want two pieces that are five and a half by two and three quarters. And along the five and a half, you want to score at two and seven eighths. So you're just scoring halfway, and you're just making those little note cards. Okay, so you've got two of those. Then if you want that little pop-up piece, these are four by half an inch, and along the four inch side you want to score at one inch, two inches, and three. And again, I've got two, you might just want to have one, it's entirely up to you. And I think that's everything. And then for the belly band, this is a piece of one and a half by whatever length. This is 12 because it's cut from that same piece that I cut earlier for the actual card itself. So what I would suggest you now do is stick this in, so I think it's easier to then stick these all on. So what you want to do is, I'm going to add, so if you just grab your glue and pop it on one side first, so, and you want to make sure that you've got the opening facing you, the folded point there you're going to have here. So just make sure you get it as centered as possible, so three and three, that's about right. I can also just measure here, just under one, just under one. So, happy with that. And then I'm going to add my glue onto the top. So, and then you just want to close up the card. And I'm going to grab my mini machine here. I'm just going to sit that on top and pop that to one side. Whilst that's all drying, with these ones here, you just want to fold and burnish the three score lines all in the same direction, like so. And then I'm going to use my quick grab glue for these ones. 
and you just want to pop some glue along one of the one inch sections so just popped it there and then you're going to sit this in the middle with this end so it sits along the score line there like so fold it in half so you've got two on this side and pop your glue on the last one inch section keep it flat and fold the whole card again I'm just going to pop some something heavy on there and I'll do the same with this one so you put in glue at one end then fold the whole thing in half so you've got the two again on top but you're just putting the glue again on that last piece and then close it up it's a pretty quick grab glue so pop that on that one so I'm going to go back to this one now and when you open it you'll see you've got this piece then I've got these little squares which I die cut and these measure one and a half squared and then all you want to do is pop some glue on the top one and sit this so it becomes a little floating ledge it's very similar to the floating gatefold card and when it closes that one and a half size will fit perfectly within the card so now when you open it you have this little pop-up you can put anything on there that's that one and now I can go to this one okay like so I'm going to add my glue which is hidden under here like so and I'm going to pop that one just in here and I'll add my velcro dots in a moment okay so while those are drying I've then got the hugs here and what I've done I've already stuck this one down and I have cut them all out with some red glitter card and then also some foam I've just stuck them together so they've got dimension and then I've got a piece here so this vellum just helped the letters pop against this busy background so it's one inch by five and a half now the thing with vellum is, is it shows the glue through so what I've done is I've glued them on on the back of the letters but then I'm going to put glue again over the letters on this side and stick them on both ends of the card the letters I've used are from my Made to Surprise Chunky Alphabet set. So I've got this one here and I'm going to pop some of my glue just on the back. It doesn't take long to dry, just get them lined up the same height as this one. There we go. So I'm going to stick all those down but what I'll do is I'll just show you here, just pop a bit of glue on the back here. That's only if you're using obviously vellum and then that will be enough to stick that in place like so and whilst that's all drying I'm going to keep the whole thing flat and pop that on top whilst I get these stuck down Okay, so that is now all stuck down. What I want to now do is I want to add a matte layer onto this. So can you see I've done some stitching with my gel pen and then that's actually two halves of a heart and I'll show you just how I've done that. So with that same die, just pop that all in there, that'll close better once I add the Velcro dots. And I'm gonna die cut two of this heart shape and just get them on so I checked. So I'm going to die cut that twelve twice. So whatever step you know, whatever you used originally, if you can die cut it, if it is a die, then do so. If it's a template, just draw around it again and then we're going to cut it just slightly smaller. Okay, so you only have to do one as well, because then you can use that one to draw around all the others. So what I'm going to do first of all is just cut this in half. And then like I said, just do the one and then you'll use this to draw around these ones. Now it's up to you how much smaller you want it. I want about a quarter of an inch so I'm just going to start following around the heart. Now if you've got nested heart dies that fit then just cut the next size down. See if that's going to be enough or if I need to take some more off. Nope that's perfect. So then I can just use that same one. I'm just going to line up the bottom so it looks like I'm taking more away but if you bring the point right down to the point of the one underneath and then just cut around the top. Okay, 
Okay, so I've got all of those, and then I'm just going to grab my glue. This is a double-sided glitter, which you don't need for this at all because you don't see this half, but it was the only one I had with this lovely red. Okay, so now I have those layers and then with my gel pen, I put a little bit of washi around it so I know which one I like to use. This is the 10 and just says Jelly Roll 10, there's nothing else I can tell you on there. And actually I'll do that last because you don't need to really watch me do that. Um, I'll just pop that on high speed. I'm going to pop the Velcro dots in place and then what I ended up doing, so if you watch the live I actually made little tabs, it was too much bulk and I found this was easier so I'd actually just put the, the velcro in the top corner and then closed it and that was enough and then I done it on the oh, got a bit of glue stuck on that one and then just so that you get the equal amount of bulk put it on the opposite end of that one and stick that down and just really push it so it sticks again make sure everything's stuck down so now I'm going to stick down all the decoration just like this one so we have the two little envelopes on the top and then I'm going to have the lips and the kisses. I need to put some glossy accents over those lips. I just realised I've missed those. And again there. But if you haven't done that, you might be writing little messages. So that's now all done. Okay. just realised I should have had that in that orientation. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but that's the way it opens. I done it right on that one. Next, I've got my belly band. So I'm gonna have this now this way. And you just wanna wrap this around. You know, you want it tight enough that it's gonna stay on, but not so tight that they're gonna really struggle to take it off. And I wouldn't put this in an envelope, but if you did want to make an envelope, then I've got my envelope playlist. I'll pop that up now. I've got box envelopes. I also have got a tutorial that shows you how to make your own envelopes without you know, any tools, you just need your paper. Just let that dry. And then I've got my lips and I'm just gonna ink them up. And this was just a little, little extra. You could really, I think we said during the live, you know, put your own lipstick on and, and kiss it with your own lips as well. I think that'd look good. I'm just gonna stamp that there. There we go. In fact, I might do a couple more. Cause I think again, it just looks quite good having, if you do three, so if we do one, kind of here. There we go. And what I would do is when you do the back piece is I'd do a couple on there and I'll probably add those because I've got those left over. Now I can just slide that off. And then lastly, to finish it, I'm going to go around. It's always good. Give this a bit of a shake. And I'm just going to start from the bottom and just do some little dashes all the way around the heart and it just helps frame it and make it pop a little bit more. There we go. I just think it really finishes it off. So again, you can lift up each of these. Once you've done them a few times, my glue's still drying as well. It's probably a bit too much pressure, but they'll come up quite easily. But you can see the kisses. I think it'd be great for little love notes as well. And then again with that one there, See that one lifts up. You could put money in there as well if it's a birthday card. Because like I said, if you go down that route of like more for, you know, playing cards, poker with the diamonds and the hearts, then you could put money underneath this as well. I think that would look really cool. And then it all folds up and then it will fit the belly band over the top. So there you have it. My ultimate Valentine's card volume two so i hope you've enjoyed it do check out volume one it's a really nice card you might enjoy that one as well and i'll be back again very soon with another tutorial and then it's my last valentine's make and i hope you enjoy it thanks and also if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you enjoyed my tutorials and you want to see more hit the notification bell as well because that way you'll get notified when i upload a new video thanks for watching bye